This is the finals. It's been a tough journey. 16 men started. Four men made it here tonight. And there are two remaining. Ken Shamrock and The Rock. Keep it clear. These are athletes. These are not old men stumbling around the ring. This is where athletes go. And it's going to determine the king of the ring. Well, this is what I think Shamrock's thinking. This is the biggest match in my life, and I have a bad ankle. He's worried about that, JR. The ankle's got to be an issue. And no doubt The Rock is very well aware that Shamrock had that ankle dinged earlier tonight. And The Rock better hope that ankle doesn't end up between those two gluteal cheeks of his. Oh, man, what a tactical maneuver. The Russian leg sweep. Blocks the chop. Nice. Bam! Oh, my gosh. Turned inside out. Shamrock climbing the ropes. Oh, oh, he got him. Sometimes when you go high risk, you crash and burn. And sometimes you knock it out of the park. And that was a perfect example of hitting it big. A sharp kick. Oh, what a shot. Look at him block the attack. Oh, my gosh. His strike hits nothing but air. What's this? Chimra setting it up. I'd suggest he's going to need to see the doctor in the locker room after this match. I'm afraid he's going for it. Yes, it is. It's that dreaded ankle lock. At Survivor Series last year, Shamrock was a one-man band, eliminating two members of the nation. Shamrock's limping a bit, and we knew it would happen. And Rock's getting a bit frustrated. Rocky should be frustrated. Shamrock's showing us a lot in there. I'll tell you what, the athletes of WWRB, the dangerous Kim Shamrock, with the victory. Shamrock! Shamrock! Ken Shamrock, King of the Ring! JR, maybe you should say that like five or six more times. Ken Shamrock, the 1998 King of the Ring. And he did it with his ankle lock submission. And he never, ever quit. Nothing was handed to Ken Shamrock. Nothing's been handed to him his entire life. And now he can say that he's the King of the Ring.